be doing a review and tutorial on dun 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 the Makeup Revolution Ultra Professional Eyeshadow Palette in Flawless. So if you want to skip straight to the tutorial, you know everything about this palette, then I will put in the description where it starts. So if you are interested in the look that I create and also my opinion on this product, then please keep watching. May I also state, the product was not sent to me and this goes for any other product reviews I do. If there is a product I'm showing you that has been sent to me, I will always make sure that it's noted down in the description. All views on that product were always Always be my own. I will never ever 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 sell you guys a product that doesn't work just because it has been sent to me okay okay so when it comes to reviews I will never do like first impressions because you can kind of misinterpret a lot about a product you can try it and love it and then after a few months hate it so I've had this uh, for a while so that I could really test it out get a feel for the product um, and with my reviews I tend to do the based on four P's uh, with product price packaging and where to buy them so place this one here this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Professional Eyeshadow um, in the shade of Flawless. These are their 32 eyeshadows. I could be wrong on the amount. One of them has actually just fallen out. So this is a great start to the video. Okay, so that one has literally just fallen out there, which is a piece of shit. Adds to that, this is what it looks like. You have a lot of neutral colours in here. You have some mattes mainly here. And you also have a bunch of shimmers. Yeah, you have everything from your golden colours to your pinky colours to your darker colours to even a few greens and browns in there. So you have a really beautiful selection to um, choose from. So with the consistency of these products, some of them are chalky. Um, so like this colour here is pretty chalky. And there's a few others like this one here that's pretty chalky as well. But mainly they are very pigmented. They're very creamy, especially if you use them with a damp brush. And they last a very, very long time. They're really, really blendable and they're also perfect for your, your kit if you are starting out in makeup. There's also three others, I think. There's Eyes Like Angels and there's two more that they've brought out, but I will link them all in the description. But with price, this little compact was £8. Uh, with packaging, I really like it. It's really nice, sleek, glossy black uh, material. The only thing is it gets dirty really quick so if you can see like this here it's really dirty um, and the actual shadows themselves like this the black compartment bits here get really dirty got a rose gold makeup revolution bit here which does eventually scratch off yeah I think it's really nice really compact you can take it with you when you're traveling so you don't have to carry around multiple shadows then where can you get this product so you can get this from Superdrug online and you can also get it from the makeup revolution website <laughs> On this dense fluffy brush. I'm going to be putting that on my eye just to ensure that my eyelid is all one colour and it's also just going to prime it so that the eyeshadows stick to my eye a lot better. And then to prevent creasing I'm just going to take some powder and just dab over that. It's also going to make them a lot more blendable. Looking at this shade here I'm just going to be using this shade as my transition colour. I'm just going to be picking that up and just placing that as our transition colour just to warm up the eye. And I'm going to be taking this all the way to the eye. And when I get to the end part of my eye, I'm going to tilt my brush this way and kind of drag it out. Swoop that out to the side. Next, picking up this colour here, I'm just going to be popping this all over the base of our eye. So I'm just going to be tapping this over our eye. Just because if you swipe it, it can really weigh your eye down. Um, and it can also make it crease really bad. And then picking up this shade here, I'm just going to pop this into our inner tear duct. I'm just going to pop this in our inner tear duct just to brighten the whole look up and really tie in those golden tones. I'm also just going to be patting that slightly over the base of our eye. Then picking up a mixture of these two shades, I'm just going to pop this into our crease. Some of the colours are actually quite chalky, um, so you do need to apl apply like a bit more of the colour. Uh, but the rest of them, I mean with regards to pigmentation, they're absolutely fantastic. Just into our crease, and again just slightly drag this out and then take a clean fluffy brush and just blend 
all of that out. Picking up that gold colour we used for the base of our eye, I'm just going to pop this on our inner tear duct, but I'm also going to be dragging it out about halfway. And then we finish with that, just picking up the red colours that we used for the crease, just pop them in our outer lower lash line. Picking up this Miss Sporty mascara and the Miss Sporty Studio Lash Liquid. I'm just going to be drawing a cat flick. That's why I really like this because I don't know if you can see but the tip is really really thin so you can be very precise with it. Lift my eye up slightly so there's no creases. So just pressing on the lash line I'm just going to apply um, some of this liner just to that area. For lipstick I'm just going to be picking up Max Faux and I'm also going to be using MUA's lip liner in Paramount Nugget. taking your time to watch this review and tutorial today I hope it helped and I think it's just a staple piece to have in your makeup collection the other palette I will also be doing the exact same review and the exact same tutorial with stay tuned for that one because the other palette is a lot brighter um, so yeah thank you so much for watching this video today guys and I shall see you soon bye